What I really enjoy, and I think is common to this show, is a just finished or an impending narrative. Like, uh, like this is a scene in a movie, and I think a lot of this work is cinematic, and kind of share that in common, like, what happened here? Why do these people build this house here? Uh, what just happened or what's just about to happen? And uh, not so much as in this one, but in a lot of the others, I think uh, they're, they're unapologetic and everything's in there, like, you know, the dumpster and the telephone pole. And a lot of people work to leave those kind of things out. But in these instances, I think that's all part of the story. And, uh, and it's just also capturing that moment of what, you know, what happened here. You know, there's a lot of color in this area. And I usually paint, like, you know, within a three or four hour region of here most of the time, not always, but most of the time. And, you know, the colors are really beautiful early in the morning or um, late in the evening, typically, or after rain. Those things really ramp up the color. And, and season, you know, spring or, or uh, fall tend to be the best. But uh, I'm really drawn to this red dirt. I, I'm not, well, there's some in this. Um, just that the, how the colors start to vibrate, uh, especially out in the cotton fields, you got the, everything's on the opposite ends of the color spectrum, like you got the red, the orange dirt, the turquoise sky, the chartreuse cotton coming up, where the, the colors really kind of start to vibrate with each other. And I think it's really unique to this part of West Texas and the Brazos River Canyonlands. It's really ramped up there.